Guru Nation, got a topic for you guys today because I know I've been getting asked by people because Fortrea just announced their quarterly earnings and their dis dismal. Um, really just Ikevia, I think, is the only one like doing decent right now in the CRO space. And the question is, are CROs going away? And the there's a long and short answer. So the long answer is no, I don't think so. As much as I think there will be a lot of innovation uh, in the long run, and it'll be interesting to see how the CROs can adapt. I do think that I've been saying it for a while with technology and especially sites adapting new technology, it's going to make it easier, I think, for sponsors to regain some of the control over their studies, possibly negating some of the offerings, the traditional offerings that the CROs have been growing fat off of, like monitoring and um, tech that's just bloating the sites and the budgets. Um, quite frankly, some of the tech's not even good, like ePros and IRTs and things like that. Like that's that's never been the core competency of a CRO, yet they found ways to enhance their PNL statements uh, with the with these innovations over the last decade or so. And I think now that the rest of the industry is kind of caught up, like tech has become ubiquitous. Matter of fact, there's tech companies doing the tech way better than the CROs. Go figure. So what's really left? It's access to the patients, right? This is maybe one of the reasons why CROs have been buying up site networks. And there is quality control. And then there's the back end, the biostats, the medical monitoring, which quite frankly can be outsourced overseas and is outsourced overseas. So I think the role of the CRO is going to evolve more so than the role of a site. I think DCT, decentralized clinical trials, I think that's kind of just become a like a set of tools. It's nothing really fancy. Like, do you want to have an on-site visit for a patient or a remote site visit for a patient? Not that revolutionary, really. And that doesn't change the fundamental structure of what a site is. But some of these other changes are affecting what the fundamental nature of a CRO actually is. And I actually think the CROs are going to get back to what their role initially was, which was their core competency, which was access the sites to make sure that the sites are enrolling the patients and that the, the, the sites are adhering to the protocol and GCP. Like, Back to the fundamentals and then helping with management of the various vendors, not necessarily owning the vendors because now the market has dictated, again, these things are ubiquitous now. They're not as expensive as what the CROs are charging for these tools, productivity tools or efficiency tools, which are actually just bloatware for the study and bloating the balance sheets, or they at least they were loading the balance sheets for these CROs. So just my take, if you work at a CRO, I know you're going through some crazy stuff right now as far as layoffs. I think the role of a CRA stays the same. I think more so than ever, it becomes more of a, like the CRA really is the expert of the study, more so than the CRC, more so than the PI. I know it's not politically correct to say that, but the CRA should know the study better than anyone else including the PI and the coordinators. And I know that's a unpopular take, but it's the reality because if a CRA is only assigned one or two trials and a CRC is assigned like three to eight and a PI is assigned like three to eight or more, who needs to be the expert? I mean, logic tells you it's the CRA. So I think the core competency of the CRO is going back to the basics less bloatware, less of this add-on stuff, 
maybe the consolidation helps the CROs gain some leverage over the sites and hey you know what we have a site network now so sponsor XYZ you should use us because our site network has you know access to X amount of patients in these markets that's fine that's one possible way to look at it and that's probably one of the differentiating factors going forward but the tech like they have been the drivers of like EPROs and things like that in the past I don't think that's happening anytime soon. And with all the global outsourcing, I think the stuff like it's it's basically been a race to the bottom where this is all these things have been commoditized and the CROs have got a pivot now and they've been in the middle of a transition for a while. So globalization is going to continue to occur. Outsourcing is going to continue to occur. That's where a lot of the layoffs are coming from on the CRO side. As far as CRAs are concerned, I think it's safe to say CRAs are always going to be needed and in demand. So that's my take on what's happening right now with the state of the CROs. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and let me know what you think about all this. Bye-bye.